What's going on, YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or www.whatsupinthesky.com. And we are here with some space news for tonight. Exciting things coming from the LRO, the Lunar Recognizance Orbiter. It has basically taken a picture of you to the Jade Rabbit rover from China. Didn't take long. December 25th, it made a pass over where it was. And here it is right here as it pops up. This is a mosaic. Basically, this is just switching back and forth from one picture to the next and you can see that popping up and you can so basically you can see the rover and the lander popping up here and what seems to be here I think that's that little pyramid we were looking at in one of my videos a little while back uh, very interesting Chang'e 3 and U2 seen from orbit and this was taking on December 25th um, so they see and this is basically very high resolution right here um, LRO has some amazing, amazing resolution when it comes down to it. But there it is for all the naysayers. There it is right there. And I've been waiting for this for almost a year since the guy, somebody won this. Um, there was a contest on what they should, you know, what NASA, not NASA, but what Lego should put out. And someone said the Curiosity Rover, and they, they made this, and they submitted it. And I've been waiting for it. So I pre-ordered this. I'm going to have to, i got to run up to my mall. It's about two hours away from where I am and pick it up. Um, I can't wait to get it. It was twenty nine ninety five. I couldn't help it. Um, you know, I have to have this thing sitting in front of me. I mean, I'm a geek. I'm 33 years old, and I'm going to buy Legos. Can, I'm only worried about the 295 pieces. i got to stick together to get it to work. But, you know, if you saw my last video, I'm out there building my new room. Um, that's why I'm not putting out as many videos. You know, right now I'm in the process of moving my bedroom here that you see. Uh, that's all, you know, small, cramped messy yeah and i'm moving it out to one of our living rooms i got a living room out there that just we don't i don't use it you know it never gets used so and i figure it's triple the room i have here it's got a fireplace in it for the backdrop for my videos it's more homely out there um just it just excited so i'm putting in a wall putting in a door dry right now i just went out and picked up the drywall so i'm about to bust all that out um so that's why I haven't been around, but I'm here. I'm I'm here and uh, putting out videos, and I will be getting back to you once I'm in there. We're, the you'll see it it pick up some like I used to be doing them. Um, also, a little bit of space news here. I want to say thank you to Scott Warren for uh, dude. You rock, man. You every time you share one of my videos on uh, your website, the uh, UFO sightings. Um, I tell you what. This blows up, and this was the one that I had just done, the Zeman Crater. Uh, it got shared all over the internet now. P people pick up his website and pretty much share it everywhere. Um, <laughs> that's kind of weird. This one here kind of ticked me off a little bit. Well, well, from, first let me say one thing about this crater. People are telling me that this right here is the actual picture being stretched, you know, and it's something that was very common back then with the lunar orbiter pictures and things like that, which I've looked at hundreds, maybe thousands of them, and I've never seen anything like this. And what I've also done, I've taken the the Japan, you know, the JAXA one, and I've tried to stretch it. So they're saying basically this was a little baby crater that got stretched out. So basically they're saying like a, this right here was stretched out along this long line. And uh, you can tell by looking at the other craters. And I tell you what, go back and look at this video I did and tell me if you see anything there that can be stretched out. Uh, I just can't do it. I, I, I've done it in Photoshop, nothing. I can't, I can't make anything look like that. So I'm going with that as a lunar base and that's, that's what I'm sticking with. So well, this guy right here from itsastrangeworld.com, at the end he put this, it's worth mentioning that YouTube user has been criticized for posting a lot of fake material. You know, I don't, post fake material. I go around the web and I find people to say anomalies. This is an anomaly, a known anomaly, and I'm trying to build one place where basically everybody can come to, see my channel, you can look at the picture, I give you the link. You know, if this was fake stuff, a lot of fake material, why would I give you NASA links? So I think what you mean to say there, not fake material, I think what you need to say is uh, uh, maybe uh, what, what, what would it be a good word here? Maybe uh, disputed material, but not fake. You know, like I said, that, that kind of pissed me off. And uh, I like the guy to take that down. It's at itsastrangeworld.com. Just because, you know, or change that word. Like I said, it's worth mentioning that the YouTube user has been criticized for posting a lot of fake material. First off, I never have anybody come say I got fake material up there because they can just hit the link. Every single video I've done, all 200 and 70 something of my videos have a description and in that description you can you can hit the button and make it you know make the judgment for yourself i always say i see what i see you see what you see and then we go from there so 
either way, much love. Thank you so much, buddy, for for sharing this. I hope you share some of my stuff in the future. But let's get that uh, let's get that changed because, like I said, you can criticize me for saying I I post you know controversial material, but not fake. You know, anything fake that I know is absolutely hundred percent fake, I've taken it down. You know, so I didn't make that. I give you the I show you how to get to that. You know, like, just like I said, I always provide the links. So much love to my subscribers, all you guys who come check out my stuff. I love you guys. What's up in the sky, 37? Leave me a comment. Hit like. You know what you do. Every time you hit like, you help me out. Um, I've got three or four videos, and this could be why the guy saying I get criticized for my Antarctica videos and stuff like that, where I show, uh, you know, basically civilization melting out of Antarctica. And to me, it looks like civilization. There's pyramids there. There looks like statues. And people are just, like, that's when the trolls start coming in and hit it. That Once that thing got, like, eight, you know, 800,000 hits, the trolls came at it. I've got two other videos now. They've gotten up to about 50,000 hits. Um, and they're more controversial. And they're getting the trolls coming in. So, you know, if it's trolls that are criticizing me for putting up fake stuff, whatever. But there's nothing fake on my channel. There may be some stuff that, you know, may not be what I says it is, but usually what we're doing here is not black and white. You know, you can say even you can say this has been stretched all you want until you're blue in the face. I don't see it. So either way, none of us will know until we go up there and find out for ourselves. It's not going to happen. That's what I love about my thing. It, it, you have to when you come to my page, you got to use your imagination. And that's what I hope you do, and I uh, hope you stuck around. I hope you check out my links. Like I said, I hope you share my links because, uh, you know, it's 2014. It's time to blow this up out of the water and get disclosure. You know, if, if they're not going to do it at the top level, we're just going to have to keep doing it here and telling everybody we know. And stuff like this helps. You know, like I said, either way, it gets you thinking. So much love, guys. What's up in the sky? 37. This went seven minutes. I didn't expect it to. Peace.